Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 141. Today I want to talk about meetings, and sometimes they can be terrible, and sometimes they can be productive. There was a study done uh, in the States where people said that meetings were some of the biggest problems that they faced. They were uh, unproductive. People were often, you know, venting what the problems they were having or even gossiping. And as a result, often meetings are just a waste of time. However, they don't have to be a waste of time and boring. And there are some approaches that I'd like to share with you so that you can make your organizations more uh, effective, help build the team, uh, help improve the culture and improve the overall effectiveness of your organization if you have effective meetings. First thing is we should have an agenda for each meeting. And what is the purpose? What's the reason we're meeting? And when we discuss that, there are some great tips that I got from a book that I would like to share with you. The book is called Meetings Suck. It's written by a fellow Canadian by the name of Cameron Harold. And here's some of the suggestions that I really resonated with me when I read his book. Number one, when you have a group of people, make sure they're the people who should be at the meeting. Doesn't mean everyone has to be at the meeting and even let them opt out if they say, oh, there's nothing I can add to this meeting. So they don't have to come. Don't enforce everyone to come if there's nothing. They just sit there and waste their time listening to something that's not relevant to them and what they're doing. Also, have the most junior people speak first. Get their opinions on the topic that you're discussing. Leave the senior people until the end. This is something that Nelson Mandela practiced. He said he learned this from his father. His father was a chief, and when they got around the circle and they talked about uh, the issues that they were uh, trying to solve, etc. His father always spoke last. And I found by using that technique that when it's time for the senior person to speak, a lot of what would have been said if the senior person had dominated the meeting has already been covered. And the junior people feel involved and part of it and it helps improve the culture and the team. And the effectiveness of the organization. So that's one point. Let the most junior person speak first. Make sure they have an opportunity for their voice to be heard. Another thing that I really thought was very could be very effective was often we have uh, meetings where we go off site, have a retreat, try and uh, get everyone to bond and, and get to know each other. Sometimes they go on hikes together, whatever they do. He suggested, Cameron Harold suggested, one of the best things you could do is have everyone help prepare the meal and help cook it and eat it together. So that is one of the best bonding uh, exercises you, you can do for your team. I thought that was very powerful as well. So I would suggest there are some very excellent books, including Cameron Harold's book, Meeting Suck. And those approaches can make meetings much more effective, shorter meetings, to, to the point, things are timed, they don't go over time, and that is what can make your organization extremely powerful and effective. So with that, I'd like to say adios, au revoir, wishing you, your family and friends, lots of love and laughter. Bye for now. I hope your meetings don't suck in the future. Bye for now from Fred, Notes of a Nomad.